upgrade time. Raw 420, taking out my rotor flight fly dragon, which I did some experiment with, installing the V-Control Neo back into it. But this time, we're getting the new Hobbywing ADM version 5 ESC. This thing's a small little powerhouse, and we're going to put her in there and see how she do. Uh, first things first. All right, first things first. So, on a new ESC, the first thing I like to do is hook it up to the program box. This is the version 3 LCD Pro programming box. I like to go through the settings, make sure it's got all the firmware up. So, I've got my telemetry cable plugged in. I've got the program box plugged into the ESC, and I'm just running the program box right now. So we're going to scroll down and just check it out. We're going to look at the system. We're going to check and make sure we can access the parameters. So you'll see we're connecting to the ESC. It's a version 5. Here's all the different flight modes. Now, I plan on doing V-Control, so I'll have this done. I'll be doing it all through the V-Control transmitter. But I want to go check and just see where I'm at from a device itself. What firmware am I on? So go to the ESC. And we are running the 4.0.05 firmware. Now, this is the first things I like to do. I do this on my desk with every ESC as I get started. So I'm going to go ahead and do an update on the firmware. All right. You'll notice right now also, because I don't have it hooked up to the V-Control, I don't have the telemetry. So once I plug this in to the V-Control receiver, we'll get telemetry. All right, so now I'm going to check functionality. So I've got the telemetry cable plugged into the ESC, obviously. I'm now plugged into the Neo itself. And you'll see I've got the Hobbywing icon. So we'll go through and just make sure everything's working. All right, it's the 4.0.05 firmware. See, it's V-Control compatible right out of the box. So I've got full access to all of the Hobbywing features, the programming parameters right from the V-Control. So I'll use this for the actual setup of the unit later on, but I'm just right now, this is something I always do in the first, when I first get a fly bars and an ESC combo together, I just double check everything, make sure it's all working before I go put her in the helicopter. So one more step. We got one more step. All right, as I said, I want to update the firmware. So there's two different ways of doing it. You can use the programming box now with the version 5. You need to use the um, new G3 LCD Pro programming box. Now, you can use it and go through like a app on your phone, the Hobbywing V2 app, and do it wirelessly from your phone to the box connected to the Hobbywing ESC. Or what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to fire up the Hobbywing V2. ESC link software on my computer. I'm going to plug the program box into the ESC, use the cable from the ES, the program box to the computer, connect that way, and go through that firmware update on the PC. Either way works. I'm just going to choose to go left instead of right this time. So let's get her hooked up and do that firmware update. We got her hooked up with the programming box to the computer, and we've got it logged into the firmware update section. And current firmware on it is the 4.0.05. We're going to upgrade to the PL 4.1.0. Now, I've already checked it. At this 80 amp unit with that 05 V control works, we've got full telemetry, full control. But we're going to go and upgrade the firmware anyway because, well, we update. All right, we'll get her going. All right, as you can see, we are now updated complete. We are on. 0 0.04, 0 0.1, 0 0.00. All right, so now that I've got the firmware updated, I am going to go ahead and while it's outside the helicopter, hook it up, check, make sure the full telemetry is working, full integration is working, and then we'll finish the install. All right, we'll be back. Okay, as you can see, we have now gone ahead and hooked up the telemetry cable. Now, when you use your program box and you want to connect the program box to the ESC to log in and check the ESC, the program box will not connect to the ESC if your telemetry cable is plugged into the uh, Neo. So either you unplug it at the ESC and go straight into the ESC with your programming cable off of your program box, or I unplug the actual telemetry cable at the other end. Either way, so we're reconnected back here. Telemetry is hooked up. ESC is plugged in, energized. And as you can see, we are connected at the um, V-Control Touch. So we have our telemetry right here, and you can see we are now 4.01.00. We're reading all of our telemetry data. All right, let's look at that. Um, long press. 
So it brings up our different modes. All right. We're at 10 degrees timing. I like all that. I like the C. I like how to see there. Um, I run, well, yeah, I run 7.8. I run 8 most of the time. Cut off, I just leave it as cell counts auto. Low voltage cutoff is three and soft cutoff. Um, now I will run V control. So we're gonna go ahead and put it into the V bar governor mode and it will come up and it will ask to do a start. So when I turn it off, it'll restart the ESC. Now obviously we have no tones because the motor's not connected. But anyway, all right, it's rebooting. You can see it's kind of resetting up. Once it comes back up and boots up, we're gonna get back to our um, Icon, or hobby icon. Yes, I know the battery's not full. All right, so there's our icon back up. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and uh, get her installed, and we'll play from there. Be right back. Okay, Fly Dragon has been removed, and the good old Neo is ready to go back in. All right, here we go. Next step, we're gonna pull the old ESC out of here. I'll do a side by side comparison with that one when I get it out. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is the 80 amp ESC I took out of my RAW 420. This is the 80 amp Hobbywing ESC going in. This is the new version 5.0. It is 3S to 8S, so it'll go up to 8S. Yeah, 3S to 8S. Um, has up to a 25 peak amp uh, BEC. The BEC is back protected, so you could run parallel with a 2S LiPo, and it'll, it'll be fine. Um, I'm not going to run that. I'm not going to run a backup guard or thing on a RAW 420. But this thing here is small. It is powerful. It is V-bar capable, ready for telemetry. And um, I'm going to fire up on the go. Like I said, small unit. Look at the size of that thing. Lighter, more powerful, 12-volt capable for your new future 12 volt systems if you should go there and it's um goes up to 8s well we're going to run 6s in this little helicopter all right let's get her finished installed okay we have the new hobbling esc installed we're turned on integrations working as you can tell we got the integration going all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to teach the speed controller the full range of motion, 0 to 100. So in the manual, there's a, a procedure for it where you shut her down, de-energize the ESC, energize it up with the throttle and full stick. So with V control, we got to go into setup, go into direct throttle control with that stick. So we're going to go in here to setup, edit model setup, start editing, all the way down to select there. I'm going to say yes, direct auto control. Now we're going to unplug the ESC. Unplugged. I'm going to go full stick, full stick. Come back, plug it back in. All right, so you heard that beep beep. Then I moved the stick down. That gave us our cell count, and we're good. We've done it now. All right, now I'm going to go fly because I'm running V-Control Gov. So on the bench, I will also check to make sure the bailout works. So I always like to pull the blades and check bailout on the bench to make sure it works. I'd rather check it on the bench instead of checking in here. Also, I will actually use my, um, I'll fire it up, run it up to one of the head speeds, and I will get my cell phone's... Um, tachometer I've got a little video tachometer and I'll just double check and make sure that my head speed that I'm recording matches the head speed in the um, actual head itself just to make sure I've got my gear ratio set and everything now on the raw 420 because we are a direct drive let's look at that real quick I'll go ahead and shut this thing down so it doesn't keep beeping at me so we'll go in here under model setup edit model setup Go back down here and you'll see we are 21 poles and a one to one gear ratio. All right, we're good to go. We'll catch you guys later. Happy flying. Mm -hmm.